probably know they pass on antibodies to protect against illness through their breast milk. But now there's cutting edge research looking at whether that mother's milk can have the same effect when it comes to COVID-19. New science Tanisha Godell is live this morning to break down the details for us. Tanisha, I got to tell you, when I heard you were doing this story, I was intrigued. So please let us know what's going on. I mean, Danita, you know, they call it liquid gold for a reason. And, you know, every mom who has breastfed or is currently breastfeeding knows every drop counts. So now researchers are putting in work trying to figure out if it can be used for more than just nourishing a child. Could antibodies in breast milk have the protective power to fight off and even treat severe cases of COVID-19? There's a lot of chatter about that, and I think that's exciting. This Ohio neonatologist says the research is in its infancy, but there's plenty of evidence breast milk protects against the risk of hospitalization for lower respiratory issues. It's why nursing mothers with COVID are encouraged to keep nursing, just like Debbie Papadakis did when she contracted the virus in November. And I feel really good about the fact that such a small person has been exposed and is now getting an immune response, they think, um, that hopefully will protect him if he does get exposed again. But when her son needed to start a new diet, Debbie worried her freezer stash of milk with all those potential COVID-19 antibodies would go to waste. That is until she found a breastfeeding group and shared she had 100 ounces of liquid gold to give away to other mothers in need, like Emily Jumperitz. I just wanted to give him a head start because I, at, that, at this point, I was not making any more milk, so I was not able to share any of the antibodies I was making. While this kind of milk sharing isn't all that uncommon, some doctors warn against it. We're told bacteria and viruses can be transferred through breast milk, just like those antibodies. Yeah, I think taking milk from a person you don't know is definitely very risky. Emily says she understands the risks and keeps a checklist to stay safe whenever she receives breast milk. I kind of decided that the risk was outweighed by the benefits. Outweighing the benefits, definitely something that's interesting there. But, you know, the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine says in certain situations, it is okay to informally share breast milk. You just want to be sure it's, you know, with family or someone you really trust. I'm Tanisha Cordell, News 5. Cuyahoga County's infant.